Welcome back, welcome back. MTG Joe here. Icoria is now only a couple days away. Uh, the early streamer event, which I'll be participating in, is on April the 15th. That's this upcoming Wednesday. Um, so in light of that, I'm putting together a bunch of deck lists. So I posted about six so far on YouTube. There's a bunch more on uh, my Aetherhub uh, page. I might not be able to get to a full video deck tech for all of them, but there's deck lists there. You can easily download them, uh, put comments, chat, stuff like that. been posting a lot on my Instagram as well. Um, I do post on my Instagram basically daily uh, multiple deck lists across uh, stuff either I brew or I kind of scour the internet. So I'm trying to curate it as a, a repository of like cool, unique decks. So if you're not following uh, on Instagram, it's MTG underscore the number two at the end. Couldn't get number one, apparently. Uh, but this deck in person, uh, particular, not person, is a Rakdos Menace Tribal. So Menace, for those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, requires that your creatures be blocked by two or more creatures. So they can't be uh, blocked by a single creature. So I kind of built it in a shell of the uh, like the black-red Embercleave decks. Um, with these being harder to block, it allows you to push through some more damage with Embercleave. Um, so in the one-drop slot, unfortunately, there's not really Menace one-drops. Um, so we're playing Fervent Champion and Knight of Eben Legion. We do have a small sub-theme of Knights. So Fervent Champion can indirectly pump your uh, Knight of Eben Legion or Stormfist Crusaders. A um, couple Croxes as well. If we go to the late game, it's good disruption and it's another threat that could come through. Um, the first new card of the set. Labyrinth Raptor. So this is a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two menace. Whenever a creature you control with menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices one creature blocking. So this is a pseudo-removal stapled onto a creature that can also screw up the opponent's combat math. Uh, we can also pump uh, as an anthem to give all our menace creatures plus 1-0 to end a turn. Uh, Stormfist Crusader draws us cards each turn as well as our opponent but deals them some damage. It's another menace threat. I'm playing Bone Crusher Giant just as removal uh, and a good body. Um, so something I want to try out. We don't want to go just straight creatures. We do want to some way interact with our opponents. Um, there's Grim Dancer. So this is a three of. Uh, so this basically comes into play and you get to choose two counters on it. So either Menace, Death Touch, or Lifelink. Um, so you can either go Menace and then deal two points of Death Touch damage to kill two things or you can do lifelink to gain some life that way there, depending on your matchup. Uh, Hunted Nightmare is a card that I misread at first, so this is technically version 2 of the deck. I know I posted it, and a bunch of people were commenting that I missed this, so thank you for that. Um, so Hunted Nightmare is a 3-mana 4-5 menace that when it enters a battlefield, target opponent puts a death touch counter on a creature they control. So they do get a creature with death touch, but it is a big body and it does have menace, so it fits really well into this theme. Um, a couple light up the stage just as card advantage in the deck. We have a bunch of cards that are hard to block, so easy to trigger it on. And then a couple Sonoros Howlbonder. Uh, so another Menace creature. Uh, this one makes it so your creatures have to block by three or, or more. So it's just more evasion for the deck that you can pump through damage. And then three Ember Cleaves on the top end. Uh, just some more ways to push through damage. Uh, we do have the Blood Crypts, we have some Castle Lock Wings, some Temples, we're doing two Temples and three Fable Passages. We're an aggro deck, we do want to try to curve out, so limiting the amount of tap lands. Um, so this is a proof of concept, obviously we're going to play it out, see how it goes. Uh, a couple cards that were also on the cutting block, uh, obviously uh, the Angrath, uh, the Uncommon for more of the Spark. It's a static ability of giving all our creatures Menace, it was actually the last card I cut uh, for the deck. Um, so that one there could come in potentially in place of either Croxa or some Bone Crusher Giants. We want to see what the meta's like. Um, it would allow these smaller creatures to have Menace and kind of play in terms of the, the Lord style effects. Um, so that's something we could consider there. Um, there's Rotting Regisar still. Um, plays well with the Menace. Also just the Embercleave Shell. Um, some ways to play it with that. So there's a couple different avenues we could take the deck. But this is probably where I want to start off and try it out and then take it from there. Um, so like I said, this is a proof of concept, first, well, second draft kind of, um, but we'll keep working on the deck list as we go through. Um, if you do have any suggestions for deck you'd like to see, uh, any recommendations for this deck or any of the other decks I posted, do let me know in the comments. Happy to have discussions. This is the time that we're brewing together and it'd be great to have those dialogues. Um, if you can stop by on Wednesday, I'll be streaming from 1 p.m. Eastern onward. 
uh, be cool if you can. Uh, if not, I'll have them all up on YouTube afterwards. So thanks for stopping by and uh, stay safe out there.